Hey guys, this is Tyler the Gloomy Fawn, and I want to talk about my um, TN, my Traveler's Notebook. Um, this is all handmade. It's made out of paper. I kind of wanted to do a little flip through of my journal. Also, I wanted to show you a few other journals that I have made. Um, like this guy. This guy holds Moleskine notebooks. He's pretty cute. I really love the colors that I chose for this. This one's more pink, as you can see. Um, I also wanted to make a mermaid shaker. Um, wallet so I've been using this guy as a wallet it's a passport size I really really like it it's made out of uh, clear vinyl of course with sequins I've been making a lot of stuff lately and I've been really happy with the things that I've been making um, first off, I've been making little shakers. Um, they little shake around with sequins and glitter. And I just really, really like it. This one I hooked some classic little beads on there. And um, a unicorn tail. It's kind of like a retro y feel. It's really, really cute. This one I made into a cat, with just some sequins, also I want to talk a little bit about this little guy that I have right here. This is a spirit stick that I made. Um, I'm not sure if other people has made this before. Let's get in focus here. But I have been calling this a spirit stick. <clears throat> and it holds charms and stuff like that. So you don't have to have it on, like, hook it onto your uh, journal. It's all hooked on one, you know stick and you just stick it in between your inserts. This guy I have um, a little charm from Etsy. Um, I really really like this. The sand moves. And this little fawn. Got this from Etsy from the same shop. I think they're very very cute. I'm pretty sure this clip here is from Tim Holtz from Michaels. Um, the fabric and um, the yarn and all this stuff here is just scraps from my stash. And then the little guy I put on there. I painted this um, pink. It's like a coral pink and baby blue down the side. And then I made the cute uh, pom-pom for the top. I just really like this because I can just, if I don't want clutter or charms on my book, I could just pull out the stick and all my charms come off with it. So I think it's a really neat idea. From the top, um, I just have my pin. On the top, I like the look of it. I think it looks um, a lot neater looking uh, from having pins on the side. So my pin is just on the top, and this is a Midori uh, pin. I'm. I wonder if they changed the pin names to Traveler's pins, but. It's just a mini micro pen that I love the ink that's in it. It's just a really nice little pen. And 
and I just like to stick it right on the top right there. This is just a bow that I made in stained pink. Um, I have a huge bell up here. My journal makes a lot of noise. I like noise. Um, and this here is a Japanese uh, good luck cat charm that is just on just on the little uh, clip right here. Here I just have um, a few beads connecting to these beads down here from Michael's, the beads, um, the ribbons from my stash, and the bells I got as freebies. Um, here's some monkey's fist knots that I made. I wanted to give it a try. They're kind of messed up, but oh well. <laughs> They're actually pretty hard to make. But I think they turned out cute, and they match my journal. This is just a brass clip here, and this is a leather, a leather strap here that I like the look of it. Um, I got this from Etsy, and I really like it. I'll list um, all the things that I have mentioned in this video in the description box below. This here is um, from Etsy. It's really, really cute. It has little shaker micro diamonds in there. I think that's really adorable. And I like how it moves around up there. Um, here I have some seam binding that I have stained. Let's get in focus. That I have stained and distressed and crinkled have it on a paper clip and here's just a cute little mushroom that matches my book and yeah I really really like it um I really 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 love Japanese Chinese Korean like Pretty much all of Asia. I just love the culture. I just love it so much. And I just think their letters, their alphabet, their words are just so beautiful. And they always have beautiful calligraphy. Um, I have a few um, old Japanese book pages with some really cool calligraphy on it. I'll show you some calligraphy that, this is an old scroll that I have, and um, it goes this way, let's see, and all this is handwritten on some silk, I think this was from the 1600s, um, one of the first dynasties, this was a peace treat treaty I believe, and these here are stamps. I'm pretty sure one was from the king and uh, three other important guys, but I just thought that was just really cool and like how pretty the, the silk is. Yeah, I just really, really love history and, uh, you know, Asian culture. I also have these really cool um, old... Uh, old books that I just love how old and distressed they are so the cool thing about my books that I made the covers of how I got the let letters um, on here they're actually made out of these uh, book pages I have a stack of them let me find them real quick. All right, I found a page. So this is a calligraphy page. It's all handwritten. And the page opens up like this. And what I do is because this is made out of like tissue paper, I just glued 
it around the book and it becomes transparent like that. I've seen pe people make really cool junk journals with um, tissue paper and napkins and I thought I can do this with this also and it turned out freaking awesome. So these are really cool. This is all handwritten. So I have a, a pretty large stack of these that I'm going to be making things out of like this. Also, um, I made this book like that also. Same concept, just different pages. Some other things that I like uh, are these beautiful uh, hairpins. I actually bought them to uh, embellish my journal with, but I just thought they were just, I don't want to damage them. And they're really, really cool. They're all rustic and really beat up. They've been around the world. I just thought they're very, very pretty. Anyway. Um, I'll get back to my journal here before the sun starts setting. I got up pretty late this morning. So when you first open this guy up, he looks like this. Zoom in a little. Um, I made a secretarial pot pocket right here that can hold stuff. And I just put a really pretty Japanese uh, postage card in here. I just thought it was really cute. My friend got it for me when she visited Japan. This is a distress tag that I made with some seam binding that I distressed and stained. And I stamped a fawn. This little guy I got from Etsy. I love alpaca. They're my one of my favorite animals. So I just like to keep him there. I think he's adorable. Here's some... Um, Vintage Japanese tags. I think they're just really, really cool. Not sure what year they're from, but they're very, very cool. And I just stick them in this po pocket right here because I like to to see them. This is just a fawn paper clip that I got from Etsy. Here, um, I just have some. I pretty much use this as my front dashboard. Um, this, it, these are just cupcake cut cutouts from a cupcake magazine that I just thought they're really, really cute. Um, this is a maple rosy moth, I think that's what they're called. And I drew that and painted him on Japanese book page because I like the look of Japanese writing. And um, yeah, I just liked how he turned out. And these are just some um, Japanese postage that I cut out from envelopes. This is a fairy girl that I drew with a moth. I did her with Copic markers. And this here is a vintage tea bag dip dipper. I just really like this front page. This is a fun girl that I drew. I drew her a few years ago. Her name is Faye. She's a uh, original character I created. This is Espeon, a Japanese card. Here's my first insert here. I covered it. I covered that. Um, here, I don't have really much anything in it. Before, I used um, this as a um, managing my money. It's like a 
just to see like um it's not really managing it's just seeing how much i make just by my my did my digital artwork that i've been doing and selling but i turn i don't like the pages in the front so i'm going to start a new um thing here i'm not sure what i'm going to do yet um but yeah eventually i'll show you what exactly I'll put in this uh, this um, insert. This is Tomoe River paper. And um, see how I, this is just a stencil, but how I um, covered the book. I just um, flipped it on, you know, I, I folded the page and then just taped it in there. So if I want to change out the book, I can still keep the cover since I use my vintage uh, paper and I don't want to just uh, glue it down. So that's that. Um, this is um, the other side of the zip pouch. Just a sticker here. Um, this is my cat. When I was young, younger, um, Sakura, another drawing that I drew here, another fawn girl. I'm actually thinking about making um, making bookmarks. I drew this girl. And I think about cutting her out and turning into a bookmark. I think she turned out really cute and colorful. Little fun girl here. Think about incorporating and putting her in my journal. Um, this is a folder that I made. It's actually a passport size. I need to make a new folder for this to fit this journal. Um, but um, I made a bunch of these passport sizes, so I just stuck this guy in here for now. Um, as you can see, it has gold shimmer. I just dressed the edges and I stamped a little fawn there. Here's just little pictures of my favorite Korean actor. Do you guys watch um, Korean dramas or J dramas or Chinese dramas? Do you guys watch any of those? I watch them all the time. It's my kind of TV. <laughs> I don't watch TV, I just watch a bunch of dramas on the internet. It's my favorite thing to do while I draw is watch dramas. Um, these are just some money from Baku in Australia when I traveled there and my boyfriend traveled there and picked some money up. Just thought it was really cool to have, so I just keep it there. Here's just a paper clip that I made. A little shaker uh, paper clip. So these are, this is a zipper pouch, and I got this zipper pouch from Etsy. Um, I liked it because it had um, pockets on each side of the zipper pouch, which I thought was really unique and cool. Um, these are just cute Sakura game cards, I think, and I just thought they were very, very cute. So I really like them as decoration. Inside the zipper pouch, I don't have much. I just have a ruler and a $2 bill in there for good luck. Other side, I still have more cute little Sakura. Here is another journal, um, my other insert. So I got these inserts, the Tomoe River paper from Paper Penguin Co. on Etsy. I really like the quality. This one is a pretty large one. I think this one got how many pages is in this but it's like double the amount of pages and I really like how thick it is and I think I'm going to use this as a art journal this one I just recently set up my this journal so I don't know exactly what I'm going to use it for but for now I'm I think I'm going to use this as a art journal and do doodles and stuff like that inside here I just have a little um, book bookmark there that I like to write on so I don't 
uh, mess up the pages. You know, when, when you write something, you don't want to indent the pages on the other side. So I'm kind of weird about that. And I just covered this book up exactly the same way. I also use Yellow Paint Paper House also. Their, her cards are always super, super cute. And I just like to keep that in there. And the last is just stickers. Stickers from Etsy. From the Clover uh, Gal Crafts. Her stickers are always super adorable. And um, just some random stickers from Etsy and eBay. Um, let me show you Etsy here. Some little cute anime girls. Um, Stitch is my favorite Disney character. And just some more of these stickers. Clever Girl Crafts. And here's some more Sakura stickers. I just thought they were very adorable and cute. And I just have them in here to use. So I can actually put my little uh, Penguin Paper Co. Uh, free freebies in here also. Yeah, that's pretty much it in my journal here. I don't have much. Um, here's a tag that I made. Um, that I used my old uh, Japanese book pages. I like the look of it. I just trust the edges. And this is a card, a used card that I just had. And um, instead of just throwing out your used old cards that you don't want anymore, I just cut stuff, you know, stuff out of them and um, turn them into little cute cards. And I glitzed it with gold. Which I really like that. Oh, I glitzed the whole inside with gold. It's not on the outside, but it's in the inside. I like the outside. Not as sparkly. And yeah, that is my journal. And how I have my... Have my little spirit stick. Is This is the, the center of my book here. And I just stick it in there. And it just folds up perfectly like that. And, yeah. Now I have my little charms on there. I made um, a few more um, of these charms here. Well, not charms. My spirit sticks that I will be putting on my Etsy shop. These are all different colors. They're ready to be used, and there's, see the, the jump ring there? You can add your own charms to it, just like how I added charms to this guy. And if you don't want this poof on there, you could just take that all off. But I like, kind of like the look of it, so each one of these are unique and different. These ones are nebula themed with sparkles and glitter that I hand painted. Let's see if you can see that. This one's cute because I made a little jar of stars. Let's see if it focuses. The big poof ball. This one's another nebula themed. This one's really cute too. This is like a coral color, it's not pink. So for the non pink lot lovers, this will work for you or this one but I like pink so a lot of my things are pink so sorry about that also in my shop I will be making these cute little rosy moth keychains I just thought they were really adorable I like to hang them on my bag I think they're quite adorable I also made a bunch of tags. Some of these tags are 
Distressed and Coffee Stained with Doilies. I'll be selling these as a set of four. Which I think they're quite adorable. Also, I have a handful of, of little keychains and charms that I made that are shakers um, on my Etsy shop. They're arranged in all different cut colors, so you can go check that out. Some of them have tails, um, some of them don't. Some of them are short like this one, but they shake around and they make noise. Which are really, really, really cute, I think. So, yeah. Let me find one with a tail. Here's one with a tail. A little UFO with a little tail on there. They're cute as bag charms, or me, I like to hang them on my planner. But however you like to use them. I think they're quite adorable. And retro y. Yeah, so. Well, guys, I, I'm gonna head out. Um, I need to do some errands and stuff like that. So, hopefully, I will see you guys later. Bye guys, have a good day.